वेलकम बैक टू दिस सेशन द सीरीज ऑफ डेवोप्स प्रोजेक्ट विद द डिफरेंट कॉम्बिनेशन विद द गिटहब एक्शन टू पुश द डॉकर इमेज टू डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ रजिस्ट्री सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन पुश द डॉकर इमेज ओवर द गिटलेब कंटेनर रजिस्ट्री द लास्ट सेशन वी हैव सीन द एज्योर वी हैव सीन द एडब्ल्यूएस वी हैव सीन द गिट uh we have seen that uh, docker hub so now in this session we will going to push the docker image over the gitlab registry so let's start let's not waste much time okay so steps we are going to handle in this session so we will setting up the github repository then we are setting up the gitlab credential in yaml writing the packer files github action will create the workflow and then we'll do the workflow the triggering part and at last we'll check the registry is pushed over the gitlab container registry or not so let's start so let me go to the gitlab first so first requirement is uh, we have to create a project over the gitlab so i'm just creating the new project here so i'm just giving the docker example Okay, I'm just creating the project. Okay, because the name is already at this, I'm just creating example new here. So Docker example new project I'm just creating here in the GitHub action. So here we have to create the project the first. Okay, so project has been created here. You can see the project is created. So Docker example new project is created. okay let's move to the configuration part uh, first we need the the token part so that token will basically do the authentication from the github to the gitlab so to create a token you have to go to the profile here in the edit profile then you have to go to the, the access token in access token you have to create a new token here you can give the test token and you can give the permission what you require here so we have required the right and the permission okay i'm just creating the token here so the token is created here and you can copy your personal access token from here you can simply if you want click you can see and you can copy here so token has been copied here now let's move to the github part so github we have to create a new repository here so i'm just creating a new repository let me give the name this uh docker with packer and it will push to the gitlab okay docker packer and gitlab so basically it's give the docker packer of okay, a packer we are using for the building the docker image okay i'm just making the public uh, repository so any can anyone can reference the repository for their learning purpose okay so repository has been created now we will going to create our configuration file that is a packer file okay i'm just adding new file here okay i'm just giving a name is a packer pkr.hcl this hcl is the the uh, the extension hcop uh, language one okay so i'm just copying my the configuration here since it is the long copy so i'm i'll explain here the configuration part here so this is the packer uh, plugin part this is the visiting it will handle the docker plugin it will download the docker plugin and for the build and later it's going the configuration part this is source configuration the whole configuration which do the docker build so this is the image we are referring is the ubuntu then we'll do the build here uh the source build and the post image ubuntu 20 we are doing the some configuration on top of that image So basically, we do the APT update, then we install some certificates, and then we download the Docker configuration, and then we will install the Docker over that Ubuntu image also. Okay. Later, we what we are doing? We are just making the tag here. Okay. So tag part we have to change here because we just change the name of the, our uh, uh, project. So I'm just giving the new here. The name is the Docker example new. Okay. I'm just doing the commit change here. So this is post now. okay now let's go with the action workflow we will create a blank workflow here i'm just going to the action now let's create a simple workflow here we'll give the name build 
.yml instead of blank. Okay, let me copy my file. So save some time. Okay. So I taken the copy of the file, but I'll explain each and every part here. So what we are doing here, this is the YAML file of the GitHub workflow. We are running on the Ubuntu latest here, the the uh, runner of the Git uh, lab. Uh, the steps, this is the steps name, this is the user action, so basically check out doing the port checkout, then we are making the docker setup part here, then we are making the same setup part from the packer here, and let then we do the packer initializing here using the packer init command, then we do the validate over the packer file using the packer validate command, then we do build the docker image using the packer build command here, then this is the core part uh, where we are using the login, so we have to a log give the GitLab uh, configuration password and user here and uh, that we have to set up in the secrets uh, we'll do uh, just uh, checking this part okay later we are just changing here that build path uh, the build and push part this is not build build we are doing from the docker build so we can change the name here also it's not really build it's just doing the push part okay. here we change the name so on the submitting name Okay, so this is done and we have to do the uh, configuration for our token also. So we use the two variables. So let's create a variable here, git of action. Okay, so what variable we use? We use the git, gitlab username. So I'm just creating the gitlab username here in a secret. So gitlab username, we can copy username from our configuration. Then we'll copy the token what we have created here. Okay, first we have to give the name, the variable here. It is a git left password. And then we have to copy the token. Since you can see the token and username password, uh, no worries. I'm going to delete post this uh, demo, so it's not uh, uh, any risk over there. So no problem. Okay. So now our pa uh, the configuration part is done. The username password configuration done, and uh, here also its uh, configuration is done. Okay. Let me push these changes here now. So our workflow is completed. Let me go to the workflow. It started the building here. It's doing the build here. You can see I'm just going to the build part, build.yml, and here starting the job. So check out, uh, set up Docker build, then it will do the Packer setup, initializing the Packer, Packer configuration validation is done, and now it's doing the Packer, uh, Docker build using the Packer. So this is very good uh, uh, configuration part where you understand the how you can build your docker image and ultimately that your docker image you have to keep somewhere so that is basically help to store your docker image somewhere so there are multiple repositories so uh, we have discussed with the multiple repository how to post what is the configuration required so azure we did azure container registry we did the uh, elastic container registry which, which is the aws one we did the docker hub and here we are checking the git hub uh, GitLab container registry. In future also we are going to check with the JFrog Artifactory but also so basically it's overall the DevOps project so anyone is beginners on new want to understand the how different uh, push works using the GitHub action over the different registry. So build part is done here you can see the GitLab container registry login part is also done now it's pushing the your image. So pushing image you can see uh, it's I think push is still running I think it will take some time not take much time okay it's doing the pushing here so let's wait for a while 
okay i think it's post there is a two copy six e here it's done okay so push is done now it's doing the gitlab checkout and you can see the final uh, uh, the cleanup part of the uh, action workflow you can see the status here this is the build successfully all stages completed let's go to the uh, our project where we have created new project so let's go to the project here so we give the new project here Okay, in the project, we have to go to the deploy here in the deploy container registry. So, container registry should have our Docker image here. So, you can see there is a two tag is created. Actually, we created two tag with the same name. Uh, let me show you the where we have created two tag. So in the packer file, if you can refer the last. So we have given the two letters and v0. So two tag we have. So the same tag is also referring here. It's the same size also, but it's the same time push also. You can see the IJS is also same. So this is the same image and uh, this overall workflow how uh, Git uh, Hub integrate with the Git lab. This is I think first time uh, someone is doing this cross combination. But yeah, both it's required sometimes because every company uses a different kind of combination of the repository handling, uh, CACD handling and the registry container handling. So thank you for watching this video. Keep, uh, if, if you can ask any question, if you have any specific requirement uh, of any video, you can write the comment. We will definitely try to create same tutorial for you. That basically helps you someone and make the awareness of the same topic. Thank you very much. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.